Hi, I'm Vikram and welcome to A Roll of Film. In today's quick guide, we'll have a look at a few exposure rules that apply for very specific situations. In a previous episode of uh, the quick guide, I covered the Sunny 16 rule. And those of you who have not seen this, that video, I strongly recommend that you do so because that will help you in understanding the basics of this, these rules. Now I have here a list of three variables that is the ASA also known as the ISO now, the shutter speed and then your aperture. So these are the standard ASA in which or ISO which you get your films in, in which the films come in and that is the 100, 200, 400 and 800. These are the classic ASA settings each with a one stop difference. Here we have the shutter speeds, I have listed the shutter speeds. These are the standard shutter speeds in most manual cameras, which are 125, 250, 500 and 1000. Again, these have a classic one stop difference. Now what we first do, of course, is we choose a film with an IS, ASA level or ISO level and that remains fixed till that film is loaded in a camera. So suppose we choose, we take a film with a 200 ASA. Right, so we have 200 ASA that's going to be fixed for the for, for the duration of that roll. Next variable will be the shutter speed. So how do we choose a, a shutter speed? So we first set our shutter speed, which is that is we work on a shutter priority system. So we choose a shutter speed that is the closest to the to our ASA setting. So here I've chosen an ASA of 200. So the nearest shutter speed corresponding shutter speed is 250. Similarly, so I, I, I choose a shutter speed of 250. Similarly, for 400, I will choose a shutter speed of 500. And for 800 ASA, 1000. And for 100, 125. Now, once this has done, we have our ASA, which is fixed for the duration of that till such time as that film is loaded in a camera. Then we choose the shutter speed, the, closing, the closest corresponding shutter speed, in this case, 250. And now we move to the apertures and the specific situations in which uh, these apply. Now, if we have a so snowy scene, a snowy landscape scene with a lot of snow, we choose an aperture of 22. This is known as the snowy 22 rule. So let me say that again. 200 ASA, corresponding shutter speed, closest corresponding shutter speed, 250. Snowy day, snowy landscape, a lot of snow on the ground, a lot of snow in the frame. 22. Snowy 22. The next one is if you want to take a photograph of the moon. So again, similarly, the same thing. 200. The ASA is set at 200. We choose the closest corresponding shutter speed, which is 250, and we choose an aperture of 11, known as the Luni 11 or the Luna 11. So for for the for a snowy uh, shot, it's 22. For the moon, it is 11. Now the third rule is known as the outdoor 8. Now the 8, uh, aperture 8, level, value of 8 is an extremely uh, useful aperture when you are shooting outdoors. In the sense it is an extremely safe aperture. You, are, you, are not, you will never be more than maybe one or two stops off your target. So if you are shooting say a street scene and you need to really you know, shoot fast and you don't want to spend too much of time uh, adjusting your aperture, you can safely choose the aperture of 8 and just shoot. Yeah, after, 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 after you know, take, choosing the corresponding shutter speed, etc. So 8 is also, the, shutter, uh, the aperture value of 8 also is a sweet spot in most lenses in which you will get the more maximum sharpness and, and, a, and a good decent amount of uh, depth of field. So 8 is a go-to aperture when you're shooting outdoors. And now of course, the last rule, which is known as the sunset 4. So if there is a sunset, you want to program for sunset, choose the aperture value of 4. That is the most, uh, the safest for a sunset. But now these are just rules, as I said before in the Sunny 16 video. These are just rules and uh, you can use them as a guideline. And uh, with practice, of course, you will be able to, uh, you will you'll be able to really uh, fine tune your skills when it comes to that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do, kindly like, subscribe and share the same. Thank you. See you soon.